Now, when most people think of gold mining in Kalgoorlie, this is the image that springs to mind. The massive open-cut super pit that feasts on reportedly the richest square mile of gold reserves in the world. So while we leave Anya to separate the gold from the rubble we just created, Simon and I are off into the super pit. Well, this tin shed beside it, where rock bolts are tested to help prevent a miner's worst nightmare, a mine collapse. Ten years ago, Dr. Ayer began designing the world's first facility that can measure the dynamic forces that break rock bolts when seismic events occur. Are we talking like an earthquake? Yeah, an earthquake. So a tiny little earthquake around the mine, it's going to shake that rock up and what could just snap the bolt. It won't be a tiny earthquake, it'll be something of a considerable size. A lot of mines don't have any of these problems at all, but some mines that are operating a very deep below the Earth's surface, they can build up stresses. And these stresses can concentrate, and when the stress releases, you get a seismic event. Can you tell me about what that's like? Like when we get a seismic yep. event, and what, what are we seeing? Well, a seismic event punches a whole heap of energy through the ground. And so it travels through the ground, it travels as a wave, that wave will excite the tunnel, it'll excite the, the rock, it'll excite the reinforcement system. And we don't really understand, but at some point there's an ejection of the rock. Ejection so the rock process. actually sprays out from the wall? Yes. This massive drop test unit is going to replicate that seismic event. Two ton of weights will simulate the rock that gets ejected off the wall and put this bolt to the test. Two tons. So that's like these rock bolts are holding a car. Yeah. Is that right? And that's dynamically. These rock bolts can hold 10 cars statically. The way load is transferred dynamically, two tons traveling at seven meters a second, which is what we're going to test today with impact, we're going to reach the 16, 17 tons required to rupture the steel bar. To create that momentum, we're raising the drop unit 2.7 meters. On release, the yellow beam will slam into these buffers, leaving the rock bolt to take the strain of the two ton falling weight, breaking the bolt. The test will take less than a second, but John has more cables than the NBN, analyzing every aspect of its motion and rupture at 25,000 samples per second. It's information no one's been able to provide until now. Why not? These things have been around for decades. The rock bolts have been, but the testing process, the instrumentation and technology is new. So it's the new technology and the new under and improved understandings, and also somebody willing to allocate 10 years of their life to testing rock bolts. Fair point. Accelerometer, continuity check, brace it up, 600. Starting high speed camera. Well, it's finally time for this rock bolt to take one for the team and feel the full force of John's earthquake. Releasing on three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> I hope my camera's okay. <laughs> John's got a mountain of information to analyze, but there's no doubt it was a successful drop. All right, well, let's have a look at the, how this bolt behaved. So just looking at it like this, what can you say? Um, we've had about 80 millimetres plus another 30 millimetres of stretch. That's all stretched? That's stretched. The so bar wasn't this long before? No, that's <gasps> stretch. So it actually started off here yeah. and it's gone that far? Yeah, plus the bit up there. Oh my. So that's the thing about what we're doing for our testing. Steel stretches. And the way we treat it, it stretches. It's no longer something which doesn't deform anymore. Did you get your inspiration from watching Crash Test Dummies? <laughs> well, it's part of like the full system testing. We test everything. And you have to do it dynamically with a car yep. to figure out how it's, how it's working. Same yep. thing with this. Exactly. Is this going to keep miners safer? Absolutely. 